New at six, we are hearing from a mother in Buford who says she is proud and she's heartbroken. Her son, Army Specialist Octavius Lakes, killed while on a military training mission. She tells 11 Alive's John Cherick her dream was to serve his country. Tragedy and disbelief in this Buford neighborhood and beyond. The mother of Army Specialist Octavius Lakes telling me two officers came to the family's door this past Tuesday to inform them her son, 22 years old, was killed on Monday while training for deployment to war. Addie Hayes not ready to accept what she knows she must. Right now, I'm still lost and I'm still in disbelief and shock and I don't believe what those officers came and told me. I don't believe it. Um, I have to see him. Addie Hayes telling me that from the time Octavius, everyone called him Tay, graduated from Forest Park High School in 2015. This is Tay with his stepfather, Basul Evans. He wanted to enlist to serve his country. And in 2017, Tay joined the Army. He was deployed to the Mideast for several months, earning medals and commendations. Last month, he was promoted to specialist, eager to go back overseas and join the fight, while he and his fiance, Mabinity Karoma, planned their future together. Last week, Tay was training with three other soldiers in California in a Bradley fighting vehicle like this one, and it overturned. He was killed. The others were injured. Ms. Hayes somehow always at peace, she says, whether Tay was home or facing battle. With this child, I didn't worry. I didn't have to. I didn't have to worry at all with him. He is that child that I didn't have to worry about. And I'm honored to be his mother. Truly honored. He is one of a kind. If you meet him, you would never forget him, never. He inspires me. He motivates me. Ms. Hayes is expecting to hear exactly what caused the training accident when the Army completes its investigation. She's not yet able to plan his funeral to see him, waiting for the Army to release him to come home. In Buford, John Shearick, 11 Alive News. We'll be thinking about the Hayes family.